This is the SuperSock Calculator Series, Part 4, finishing off. So you can see here we're running out of yarn. And uh, I'm making an educated guess that if I start making my ribbing now, I will get about an inch of ribbing out of the last bit of yarn. So I start the uh, knit pearl, knit pearl ribbing. Pearl, knit, pearl, and knit. And continue like that until we have about a good inch at least of ribbing. If you wanted to start early and you had more yarn and you wanted to do a whole leg of ribbing, that's also possible. But these are going to be slightly short socks. So to finish off, I do knit purl and then I knit the two of them together. I find that this gives quite elastic, maybe sometimes a little bit too elastic finishing, but I'd rather have an elastic finishing around the uh, the foot than, than one that's tight to get over the, your foot. So for every new stitch that I knit, I knit them together with the previous one. So I knit one, knit it together, and I purl one, knit it together. As you can see, it's finishing off to the right. Purl one, knit it together. Knit one and knit those two together. Pearl another one and knit those two together. And knit one, knit those two together. So I continue with this all the way around. So when I've finished with this, as you can see here, I have the two finished socks and I have um, the last tail end of the yarn that needs to be sewn in to make it look nice. And it's a nice elastic edge, with these quite short socks. But get, then again, that was the point of uh, doing them from the toe up. When I'm running out of yarn, I simply stop, as long as I'm past the heel that is.